also Dr. Patel, thanks again for receiving us and congrats for your lecture, it was great. Thank and you. we have three quick questions for AAA innovation. And the first one is that you talk about how we should embrace this unpredictability in chaotic environments to try to innovate. On the other hand, we have managers and directors looking for ROI, looking for results, and some sort of predictability as well. How to manage these expectations? So in the past, we were told to measure this or this. We are in a new world where we should be measuring and. We must do this and this. So we must protect the present and we must create a future. We must be in control and be out of control. We must be able to work with our teams and teams of people outside. And this is a new skill. It's a new skill that we have to master that somehow in your brain, you need to know what can be managed and you manage it. And what can be managed, you manage what can be managed also. And that's the new world we live in. Great. And also in this new world we're living in, uh, we have four generations at the workforce. We have big boomers, we have X, millennials, that's me, <laughs> and Z, and alpha right at, right at the corner. Okay. And what, what's the downsides and upsides of working with this much diversity? Actually, the diversity is a gift. If, we, if you can master how to work with all the generations, then we can collect the wisdom of the seniors, the insights of the young people of what's coming next. And if we can work together with respect and more than respect, we actually embrace each other, then you're going to be able to come up with amazing high performing teams. So the companies of the future that are going to win are the ones who can bring teams together, which are very different. And in that very different to be able to respect and embrace each other and listen to each other to come up with something which is bigger, better, bolder, that you can do it faster and cheaper. Great. You also talked about Google postponing the, their launch of BARD and losing market to OpenAI and somehow reminded me of Kodak postponing their, their launch of digital cameras and losing market to Sony. And looking backwards, it's easy to judge, of course, but I, th I think we have some, some clear challenge here, which is decision making. How to have clarity? and make clear decisions on this fast changing environment and so competitive markets? So I don't think the management of Kodak was dumb. I don't think they were uneducated or unsophisticated. The world's best CEOs were working for mm -hmm. Kodak, George Fisher. And George Fisher was my mentor actually. And he used to work at Motorola and I used to get coaching from him. When asked why were they struggling, the real issue is you had a $40 billion business that was making a lot of money. And there was another $10 million business, small, which wasn't making as much money. But its growth rates were much faster. But even if it doubles, it's not a lot. And as a result of it, we can't be looking backwards and saying these guys are not so clever. They had McKinsey, they had BCG, they had everybody. But change is hard. How do you take 40,000 people and become digital engineers overnight? And that's the challenge. So we have to pay attention to that. BARD has the same issue with in Google. They should have changed, but they were protecting the core business with the old business, which is very good. Mm -hmm. And how do, you, how do you make that work? So how do you make that work? Well, one is to make sure that you have parallel strategies on what you're working on. Make sure you're protecting the core and creating something new. And again, this comes down to the power of end. You need to be able to protect the present and create a future. There is no future without a present. And there's no present without a future. Dr. Patel, thanks a lot. It was an honor for us. And I hope we can talk again. Of course. Thank you very much. I look forward to the video. <laughs>